Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to be back from a much needed hiatus. This girl needed a rest and it was great to take some time off. I'm thrilled that you stopped by to see what I'm doing today. I've missed you all so much and now I'm ready to get back to decorating fun here on Cottage to Courtyard. I hope you all are having a fun and wonderful summer so far. So do you want to come along and help me decorate my French country buffet for a midsummer refresh? If you do, grab a drink of choice, a comfy chair, and let's get started. This is my French country buffet that you've all seen dozens of times in my videos. It's in my living room and one of my favorite areas to decorate. I've had this buffet for several years and it was painted like this when I purchased it in Annie Sloan duck egg blue with touches of dark wax. It's really quite neutral and works well with just about any color palette that I pair it with. And today we're going to use a very classy neutral color palette in shades of taupe, cream, and green with a sort of a nod to the garden look. I've already placed my flax linen ruffled table runner on top in a sort of messy fashion just for fun. And I, I like the, the look that it gives to this vignette. But first I want to show you all my beautiful new lamps that I purchased about a month ago. I absolutely love them and the richness that they add to the buffet is just perfect. Aren't they gorgeous? And here's how they look on my buffet on each side of the mirror. Guys, please excuse the lighting today. It's very overcasty outside and the light fluctuates. So even with my light ring, it's a bit dark and I hope you can see everything okay. I will also leave a link in my description box below for these lamps in case any of you are interested. Now let's turn them on so you can see how pretty they are lit up. The bulbs are a very warm light as opposed to a white light, which creates a lovely, warm, cozy glow, I think. Okay guys, let's start adding in all the fun stuff to create this vignette. I chose this large capital that I purchased several years ago at Ross for $34.99 to create a large focal point. I love working with architectural pieces and you know when I purchased it they had two and I cannot believe that I didn't purchase the second one. I've always regretted that move because I love pairs of things. And here you see in this footage I decided to turn the capital upside down so that the large part is on bottom and you'll see why in a moment. It's a very versatile piece and can be used in numerous ways. I couldn't resist using my angel garden statue on top. She's so cute holding the bunny with her crown adorning her head and a beaded cross around her neck. I love the height she adds to the focal point, but we need a little greenery around her feet for texture and softness, as well as to cover up the black on the top of the capital there. To give this vignette more of a garden appeal, I've added a topiary to each side of the statue for more texture and height. I made these topiaries a couple of months ago and I absolutely love them. In this clip in front of and on each side of the statue, I added these Dollar Tree terracotta pots that I whitewashed and simply added small garden balls from Hobby Lobby to them with a bit of Spanish moss to further the organic garden appeal. But I wanted to add a little something extra for fun. I added two of these flameless flickering taper candles to the garden balls by simply tucking them inside one of the openings. Easy peasy and they look so pretty when they're turned on, don't they? And you know what guys, these taper candles are also made to use outdoors. I have a couple of them out in my garden and I love them. It's just best to make sure that they don't get rained on. Other than that, they are wonderful. Okay friends, here I've added a taupe colored beaded edge melamine plate to each end in front of the lamps. The 
plates are from Hobby Lobby and I just love that color and they add the perfect subtle backdrop to these mini topiaries I placed in front of them to complete this very French country garden style vignette on my buffet. Now let's go in and take a closer look so you can see all the details better. my dear friends that concludes our decorate with me video i hope you enjoyed it and it evoked lots of inspiration for you to create a beautiful midsummer vignette in your home thank you so much for spending time with me and i look forward to our next fun decorating video here on cottage to courtyard until then you all take care and i'll see you again soon bye bye my lovelies